In deaf destitute after their businesses were looted and vandalized during violent protests. This as local residents are calling for Northwest Premier Supra Humabele to step down. Selwane Khachao reports. Desperate, stranded and homeless, these foreign nationals were once prominent business owners. Now they have no clothes, shelter or food. They lost everything when Mahigang residents indiscriminately looted their tax shops and supermarkets. This during violent protests. 700 of their businesses were looted and now they are desperate to start over. The local people, they're still friendly. They're calling us to go back to shops again, restart again, but we lost everything. We don't have no money to invest again. But from the government, if we have certain percent of the help also, then the rest of the things we uh, can, we have that courage, we can start again. Although various organizations have stepped in to assist, more help is still needed. We have been able to provide them with 484 blankets to assist them in, in this time. And also to mention that it is not only SASA that is providing interventions. As government, it's different departments, different organizations. We've seen uh, businesses coming to the fort. The first assistance that we have provided is a shelter. For, for our Ethiopian foreign national brothers and we also mobilize uh, NGOs like Red Cross and the community radio stations, churches like Rama Church to you know, send a message across to, for assistance in terms of uh, blankets, mattresses, food and as you can see we have just, the, the Doctors Without Borders have just arrived for uh, medical assistance. This Islamic school has been a temporary shelter for them, but they have to vacate this building by Monday. They are now desperate for alternative accommodation. Selwane Khachau, SABC News, Mahigeng.